Good morning, and uh, today I want to talk about back pain. And as sexy as that kind of uh, subject sounds, it's uh, something that uh, affects quite a lot of us in in, in life, and uh, it can be it can really kind of uh, stop us in our tracks um, when it actually does affect us. Uh, I my, I suffer from it a little bit. My uh, father actually kind of suffered from it quite a lot, and both my brothers kind of. Uh, suffer from it from various kind of lesser or greater degrees. Now I think I suffer the least because I have a bit of a physical job, I'm always lifting things, like there's a lot of movement involved in with my kind of general work. And I think that is the key. You see, the thing is about the body is that you can never remain static. The more you kind of hold uh, a static position, the less stimulation it has to actually kind of um, maintain itself and I find that um, a few stretches in the morning you know if, if if you're so inclined to just stick on the music and just have a bit of a, a jig around the room you know and if you're as uncoordinated as myself you feel yourself a little bit better if you switch the lights off <laughs> but uh, you know just a bit of movement um, I find like the, the yoga stretches and stuff like the upward and downward dog tend to come like um, um, bend the spine in, 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 in uh, ways that are conducive to kind of stretching and, and <coughs> kind of warming up the body. It's like an engine as such really, it needs to kind of get that, that initial boost just to kind of uh, uh, follow through with the, the day's activities and things. And um, there's also kind of like a, a, a good part of it which is um, a mind and body kind of uh, um, connection. Now. Uh, I myself had suffered from a, a, a little bout of depression not too long ago, and the ramifications of like uh, that that connection has uh, um, infused like the negative kind of like, uh, aspects into my body, which is actually kind of like, my body's rebelled a bit or kind of projected it in certain kind of pains and stuff, which has left me a little bit crippled in some instances because it's kind of like, it's left me with soreness in, in pla places on my back and in my lungs and stuff. And um, so it's very important to kind of maintain that kind of positive kind of thinking, um, even though I struggle with it on, on, the, on my, the, the best of my days and stuff. But I think just a bit of mu movement, you know? Um, and it's not exactly scientific, but, you know, just keep on moving. Uh, with sprains and, 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 and general backache, if you tend to kind of stop and just, just rest too much, there is a tendency for kind of the body to just lock that up here. Yeah. Um, the same things can be said with sprained ankles and things. I've, I've done the thing where I've kind of like just kept the weight off it and like just not moved it for for weeks on end. And I've had a, like a sprained ankle which I've not been able to put any weight on for like a couple of weeks. And I've tried a kind of like a different uh, um, uh, kind of method where I've actually kind of like just maintained a little bit of movement, nothing like putting too much pressure on it, but. In the case of a couple of days, I could actually walk on it. Not especially, I wouldn't be doing like any gymnastics or anything, but you know, it's just to show that um, the conventional wisdom as to, to resting isn't always the best thing for you. So, um, like I say, just a little bit of movement every now and again. Don't you let yourself quite kind of get uh, bogged down with just the, th the, the, the tendency, which is quite, uh, uh, quite um, engaging, just to stop and just rest, okay? Um, just keep on moving. And I think that's the general kind of the idea with life in general. Is just keep on moving. Just don't stop. Just roll with the punches and just keep going. I hope that's been of some help. Because um, back pain is a bitch.